For hall shows over the years, they raise a min minimum of, of a million pounds a year for the Teenage Cancer Trust. It can be above that. Sometimes it's been two million. Roger Daltrey is an English singer, occasional songwriter, actor, and film producer. He's a co-founder and lead singer of the rock band The Who. The Who are considered one of the most influential rock bands of the 20th century and have sold over 100 million records worldwide. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1990 and the UK Music Hall of Fame in 2005. Planet Rock listeners voted him Rock's fifth greatest voice in 2009, and he was ranked number 61 on Rolling Stone's list of the 100 greatest singers of all time in 2010. Series of shows where all the artists have given us a, a, a selection of songs, completely free, even, even the publishers have waived their fees. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Roger Harry Daltrey, but is also known as Duchess. He was born March 1st, 1944 in East Acton, London, England, making him age 77 at the time of this production. He stands five feet seven inches tall or 170 centimeters. In 1970, Daltrey publicly supported the National Campaign for Freedom of Information. Daltrey was instrumental in starting the Teenage Cancer Trust concert series, and the annual concerts have raised over 20 million pounds. In 2011, Daltrey, Steven Tyler, and Julie Andrews provided funding for Robert S. Langer's research at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology into vocal cord repair for victims of cancer and other disorders. Daltrey has stated that he has never taken hard drugs. Daltrey is a supporter of Arsenal FC. Daltrey has been married twice. In 1964, he married Jacqueline Jackie Rickman, and later that year, the couple had a son, Simon. However, the relationship did not last longer, and they divorced in 1968. In 1967, another son, Matthias, was the result of his affair with Swedish model Elizabeth Aronson, in 1968, he met Heather Taylor, a model who was born in the UK, living with her grandmother at the time, and the subject of the 1967 Jimi Hendrix song, Foxy Lady. Daltrey and Taylor were introduced by her friend, who knew she was down after a recent breakup. Daltrey and Taylor have been married since 1971 and have three children together. Her first daughter with her was born in 1972, named Rosie Lee. In 1975, he had another daughter named Willow Amber, and in 1981, he had a son named Jamie. On March 1, 1994, on his 50th birthday, Daltrey received a letter from a woman claiming to be his daughter from a brief relationship during the interval between his marriages. Within a few years, Daltrey met two more daughters born during this period in the late 1960s. All three girls had been adopted and grown to adulthood before meeting their biological father. Daltrey states that Heather joined him in welcoming the three daughters to their extended family. He points out that the couple embraces the extended family, which he affectionately refers to as the whole tribe, even going on vacations that include his son Simon, his first wife Jackie, and Jackie's children by her second marriage, as well as his eight children. Daltrey has 15 grandchildren. Um, we got the who, pulp, We've got an extraordinary Them Crooked Vultures, which was a, a band with uh, John Paul Jones and Dave Grohl. Roger Harry Daltrey was born on March 1st, 1944 in Hammersmith Hospital, East Acton, West London, one of three children of Harry and Irene Daltrey. Daltrey's father was an insurance clerk who was called up to fight in the Second World War, leaving three-month-old Roger and his mother to be evacuated to a farm in Scotland. Daltrey attended Victoria Primary School and then Acton County Grammar School. Daltrey made his first guitar from a block of wood in 1957. Daltrey first traveled the solo route in 1973 with an album titled simply Daltrey. The Who reconvened for The Who by Numbers in 1975, a year that saw Daltrey release his second solo album, Ride a Rock Horse and appear in Ken Russell's films Listomania and an adaptation of Tommy in the title role. While The Who went on hiatus for several years, Daltrey released One of the Boys in 1977 and appeared in the 1978 film The Legacy. 
During the Who's post-Keith Moon era, Daltrey co-produced and starred in the film McVicker. The members of The Who appeared on the soundtrack, which essentially served as a full-fledged Daltrey album and found him bridging the gap between hard rock and the pop songs of his earlier solo work. After The Who, who officially disbanded in 1983, Daltrey's solo albums became uniformly hard rocking affairs, most notably among them 1985's Under a Raging Moon. In addition to The Who's 1989 reunion tour, Daltrey continued to act in occasional television and film roles, as well as releasing the solo album Rocks in the Head in 1992. In 1999, he performed alongside artists such as Darlene Love and Zach Starkey at a Royal Albert Hall show by an act billed as the British Rock Symphony. Fueled by a full orchestra and gospel choir, the set list consisted of classic material originally performed by The Who and their contemporaries. A related studio album followed, as did wider European and U.S. tours, before a live DVD appeared in 2000. Daltrey returned to the Albert Hall in November 2000 for the inaugural Teenage Cancer Trust Benefit Show. He became a patron of the charity, overseeing a run of yearly star-studded events at the venue that lasted well into the next decade. In May 2006, he performed Highbury Heights, a song especially written for a ceremony to mark Arsenal's final football game at the Highbury Stadium in North London. By 2009, he was touring the U.S. once again and Daltrey retained this band for a 2011 Teenage Cancer Trust performance of Tommy. In November 2013, a mere six months after his friend and former Dr. Feelgood guitarist Wilco Johnson was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, Daltrey accompanied him on sessions for an album entitled Going Back Home, featuring reinterpretations of material from throughout Johnson's career. The record was launched with a gig at the Shepherd's Bush Empire in February 2014, he continued his charity efforts by recording a cover of Townsend's Let My Love Open the Door, of which all sales proceeds benefited Teen Cancer America. In the midst of a 2014 to 2016 anniversary tour with The Who, Daltrey recorded his next album, which arrived in 2018, As Long As I Have You, Polydor, featuring Townsend on guitar, Mick Talbot on keys, and Sean Ganaki on guitar. In addition to new songs, the set also included covers of songs by Nick Cave, Stevie Wonder, Stephen Stills, and more. Very high. And if every one of you just raised, put $10 in or five pounds, uh, that would be an ex a, a huge amount of money and get us through this year. Roger has earned most of his wealth by being the lead singer and founder of the band The Who. In 1978, he got an estimated $2.6 million from the sales of his album, Who Are You With? In 1983, he made $2 million from The Who's Greatest Hits album. Lastly, in 2004, he made another $2 million from the compilation album Then and Now. Roger Daltrey's net worth is $90 million. Roger purchased his home, Hearst Manor, in 1970. It's a Jacobian country house located in Burwash in East Sussex, England. The house is built of brick and stone dressing and has 20 rooms and 7 bedrooms. It features a tile roof, clustered chimneys, stone fireplaces, stained glass windows, oak paneling, and a gallery 70 feet in length. Daltrey maintained the Jacobian style of the house but also installed a sauna and Persian carpets. In the mid-1970s, Daltrey designed and built Lake Down Fishery on the manor farm and also installed a recording studio in one of the bars. The cars and bikes you'll find in Daltrey's garage are a 1966 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 3 Sports Saloon, a 1979 Aston Martin V8 Volante, Bespoke Rolls-Royce, Lotus Evora S.